Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Brace yourself for an earthquaking shock. Nothing you have ever seen, nothing you have ever felt could prepare you for this colossus of entertainment. The Double D. <laughs> It's a Monday edition of the Double D Show. Monday. Monday. <laughs> I know Brian turned on there for a second. Uh. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, Todd, you do an awesome impression of me. I love it. That, that was, was Joey. That was me, but, you know. Joey, you did good. Oh, thanks, I love man. it. It's a uh, Monday edition of the Double D Show. We're broadcasting live from our idiot radio studios. 734 Brookline Boulevard, inside the Brookline Pub. Go ahead, Brian. Ding! <laughs> Still no soundboard? <laughs> no, I, uh, I haven't had time to uh, uh, reinstall it. Todd. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> what are you doing, Todd? We're <laughs> budgeting issues. <laughs> it's, it's, for, it's the Monday show, but uh, yeah. if it's Sunday. We're broadcasting live on TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes Radio, live online radio, and our free Idiot Radio app, which you can get on iTunes or Google Play. Do you have the app on your phone, Brian? I have a flip phone, oh, so no. Okay. But I listen on the computer at home. Oh, okay. On my Good. laptop. What, what, what platform do you listen on? I use a TuneIn. TuneIn Radio. Yes. Okay. Well, the superstar, the fan favorite of the show, Blind Brian, you heard from him. Uh, everywhere I go, everybody asks, what is that Blind Brian guy like? How big is his penis? Huge. <laughs> uh, you know, all, that, all those good questions. I know. But Elephantitis. The oh. fans love you. <laughs> Thank you, fans. Thank you, Todd. Uh, Vinny the Villain's here. Yes. You sound excited to be here. Well, <laughs> when you're sitting next to Captain Mercury balls over here. <laughs> <laughs> big Mike's in the house. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> the, uh, the, the guy that could, and I'm getting a lot of questions about this guy, too. They're wondering about the whole paternity thing. Maybe we do that more next season. Well, we're scheduled to go on Maury in July. So okay. We'll well. We can't go, go on Springer because it yeah, gets Yeah, I was going to say, that's why Springer's <laughs> bowing out. So <laughs> it was a joke that a comedian said, oh, that, he could be your son. And then Joey's mom come on the show and kind of made more questions than answers. <laughs> spared zero details. Thanks, mom. <laughs> so uh, maybe we'll bring your mom in. And we'll have to have a sit down with her. Tim's uh, here. Uh, uh, hey, what's up? We got a, um, the season finale is coming up on Friday, and uh, we have a little couple of things we have to discuss uh, with Tim, and we might have to deal with them mm-hmm. uh, properly. And uh, I have some stuff with me in that green bag behind my chair <laughs> that uh, we'll talk about on the Friday show. It's not copacetic, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know how we do things around here, so. Ding. Yeah, ding. Right. ding. <laughs> you don't fucked up, boy. Uh, <laughs> I'm just waking up, folks. I'm All right, well, I got something to wake you up, Brian. <laughs> okay, okay. Here, you feel that? Open your eyes. Did you feel that? I'm ready. I'm Did ready. You, do you feel that? A little bit, yes. That's what she said. Uh. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I, I got a song to pep you up, okay? Okay, I'm ready. All right, what do you guys think of this? You so fucking precious when you smile <laughs> Hit it from the back and drive you wild Yeah, yeah, yeah So tell me where your love lies Waste the day and spend the night Underneath the sunrise Tell me where your love lies Baby girl, what's your no. name? Uh-huh. Let me talk to you, let me buy you a drink I'm T-Pain, you know me Come feel you like this? Like boy, it's it's uh, oh, yeah. not, not my cup of tea <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Justin Bieber Did you hear Bieber. all the different songs in the in the mashup? Yeah it, This dude and his brother did that, I found it on YouTube I tell you what, that song had like a scratch and Like a full it. moon in that song <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> oh, the poopery. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the ass butter. <laughs> <laughs> All kind of cakes and smiles. So you didn't like it, Brian? <laughs> it was um, too That's bubble gummy for me. That song's like crack. Do you know what uh, Do you know what song the original? <laughs> I don't know what that's about. <laughs> where they got the original song. Do you know what the original song was? That was a T-Pain song. God's Plan, God's plan okay. by Drake. By Drake. And right. then... These two dudes, their brothers, they talk different songs, 
It mashed it up into that as they sang. I know Vinny appreciates that. Oh, yeah, it was good. That was but, good. Uh, I, I, it was a powerful crack move. <laughs> <laughs> In my opinion, that was a real shitty song. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for agreeing with me, jo- Tim. Tim, that right? Was Joe. Joe. How the fuck don't you know I'm, my I'm voice sorry. right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. Come on, we don't sound all the on, same. Back off, man. Okay. He's a good dude. That's Thank our you. friend. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, we got oh, Todd. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Do that for me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, we got a phone call before we go any further. Um, Uh-oh. You're, you're on the air for Blind Brian. My dick's really hard. Oh. You sound really hot, man. Todd. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Oh. There it is. First, first one of the Monday show. Oh, <laughs> that was that was called the Sound Drop Guys is what he did. Uh, is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> That's an old clip of Brian uh, when I he got punished on the show one time and him and the D-Man because they were supposed to do an assignment and they didn't. So I made them call Craigslist ads for dudes and try to hook up with dudes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was, that was what and that was my best impression yeah. of a gay man. It, was, hey. it wasn't a far stretch. I, it, I was disgusted doing it. It was like, yeah. ugh. That was oh, such a natural impression for you. <laughs> I hated He's it. getting married soon. <laughs> he, he lives really far north. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm going to be heading up there to see him, him tie the knot. You're going to see it. Very good, Brian. Should I'll be up there. there. Eh. We need that board back. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy he found the love of his life. It took him. Yeah. He went through a bunch of dates and a bunch right. of hell and a now bunch of women turn. that didn't care. Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. Now it's my turn, yes. We're right. getting them on tender. We're gonna, yeah, I was going to say, we're uh, hooking you up well, on Joey, tender. Joey, that's your assignment in the downtime. By the time you got we, a whole month to do so it. We come a whole back, month, Joey. I'm going to be yeah. setting you up with Uber And don't, drivers, for, so and don't forget, Joey, August is my birthday month. August 12th is my birthday. I know, man. we got to go to the strip club. I've never been, but. Really? No. Never been. I guess that'd be a waste of money for yes, you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me that the strip club will be at Kennywood. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could tell. I can tell. We could just come here to the bar, put the jukebox on, play like, God for teacher, and pour some sugar on no, me. And no. Just have the bartender come over every couple minutes. And be like, hey, just guy, give her one. hey guys, I could tell the feel of this place from being in here many a oh, time. Oh yeah. Thank God. It's uh, it's Sunday. We're broadcasting live, but mm-hmm. it's uh, for all intents and purposes, it's a Monday podcast. You can, you can catch up with the podcast, Joe, anywhere, anytime, from any anytime. computer. Yeah, on demand. Yep. Any 24/7. computer or mobile mm-hmm. device. It's uh, fucking insane. iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spreaker, YouTube, and iHeartRadio. Are we on MySpace? Um, we have a MySpace, but it's not. F- MySpace, is so, <laughs> is <laughs> MySpace is so 2005. Do you even know the password for that I can't get no. into it, but I can look at it. I stole a bunch of old pictures off of it. Oh, do you? Yeah, we have a Village Idiot show MySpace page. Oh, I never even thought of that, going back on there and stealing yeah. some pictures off Google there. yourself. Yeah. It'll come up. <laughs> I Google myself at least once a day, so. Okay. <laughs> 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 right? No soundboard. I know. I, I'm. Re- I feel lost about that. I'm just glad I can't hear that. Chicka 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 chicka. Oh, chicka. oh that's on the computer. Yeah, you can. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Huh. Did I really say that? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> you know you messed up. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Bring the bill has just <laughs> I'm so glad he's back. <laughs> All right, let's get things back on track. It's uh, it's Monday. When you come in on Monday and you're not feeling real well, does anyone ever say to you, sounds like someone has a case of the Mondays? Shit, no, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. Yeah, today's Monday. No, Saturday! No, today's Monday. No, I'm sorry. Today's Monday. What day is it? Monday? Oh, Monday! Thank God it's Monday. You're the only moron in the whole world who actually likes Monday. Have a super awesome day of positivity. Fuck off. Here we go. It's Monday, Brian. I know it. Do you? <laughs> yeah. It's really Sunday, though. I know it's Sunday. All right. But it's actually Monday. Do 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 do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't forget it's Monday somewhere because it, yeah. it, it's 12 hours 
later in another country, and maybe yep. it's a 24 hours later somewhere else. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Drink yeah. up, bitches. I know it. That's right. <laughs> it. A man find, we're gonna, today we're going to talk about a man who finds an unwanted guest hiding in an odd place. Mm. A 21-year-old woman's choice of drink to help treat acne and depression. Mm-hmm. A man doesn't take no for an answer and gets in big trouble. This uh, 105-year-old woman uh, gives uh, a shocking answer to a news reporter on why she has lived so long. The Fat People Resort. I'm, uh. I'm kind of against the Fat People Resort, and I have an idea for a new resort. When we talk about that, I'll, I'll go into my ideas for what kind of resort I want. Guy serves his friends a very personal meal, Brian. Okay. This guy, he, um, he makes a very personal meal. All right. Like is, a, is corn involved? Remember the Kobe cock meat sandwich? Uh, oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> he uh, had a crush on one of the DJs here in town one time. And remember we told him to go, he's going to have a Kobe cock meat well, sandwich? Well, he, he's, a, he's, he's, a he's, a, he's a good brother in the industry. Yeah. He's your brother? No. I was going to say, you don't is look anything too? alike. No. <laughs> you like a brother? <laughs> I mean, he's Todd's mentor, and he's given me good advice yeah. throughout the years. We he's, had butt sex. Why don't you have butt sex? Uh. But you said he's like a brother, or is it a brother? He's like a is brother. Is he black? BBC? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like, Is he like a brother or like a brother? Like, like, like Do you a, know what BBC stands for? No, I don't. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, there's a new adult Some ice cream that... <laughs> That'll take uh, you back to uh, your childhood with an, with an adult spin. Okay. Uh, the most healthy fast food restaurant. And I'll give you a guess, Brian. Go ahead. What do you think? Panera right. Bread. No. Oh, uh, he healthy ooh, fast food. Ooh, yeah, I, I, I know. I the did, the I did answer will prep. shock you. <laughs> okay. Um, beer supplies are running low at this major sporting event. Uh, you, you know what major sporting event that could be? Headlights. All right, bro. All right. Is it around <laughs> Pittsburgh or is it? You're not reading the show prep, Brian. I'm sorry. I, I, nobody's emailed it to me. <laughs> it's on Facebook. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a read next All time. All right. We'll you put a it. A listen. Well, yeah. Yeah, his computer talks. Yeah. So. All right. We're going to take our first break. And, and uh, plus, I wouldn't want to spoil it for the others, you know? Yeah. God, that was fucked up, man. Uh, what? Leave that man alone. No, no. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to take our break and we'll be back after this. Looking for a DJ for your next party, corporate event, wedding, or special occasion? Contact Rich Who Entertainment, the official DJ of Idiot Radio. For free quote and information, give them a call at 412 266 1266. That's 412 266 1266. Rich Who Entertainment, DJs for all occasions. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? You're listening to the Idiot Radio. Taking it to the edge and back. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck, and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash spielson.wheels. Vapor Connection in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Premier vaping lounge and proprietor of vaping supplies. We carry everything from mods and accessories to the widest selection of e-liquids in Pittsburgh. Visit our shop in Blahnox and sample e-juice from America's best suppliers. Vapor Connection, Pittsburgh's premier vapor and shop lounge. Vape easy at the Vapor Connection. For more information, go to VaporConnectionLLC.com. Back on a Monday show. Yes, we are. Yeah, represent Monday oh on the Double D Show on Idiot Radio. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. Anytime. While we're passing out thank yous, we got to say thank you to everybody that uh, supported us in the uh, city paper vote. Yeah, absolutely. We thank should be you. finding out soon, like yeah, within a month. You. Uh, uh, we're, we hope we repeat. Yeah, well, hopefully. And, uh, Fingers all, crossed. All our friends that were on the ballots w that we passed out with us. Mm -hmm, Spiels mm -hmm. on Wheels and Spiels Tavern and Frank, the photographer. Mm -hmm. 
Brian uh, for best blind guy in Pittsburgh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we just keep uh, – hopefully we win. Uh, I hope so. Do you think we should get another belt if we win? Brian? I think we should. <laughs> you think we should? Yeah. Okay. Man, you're on top of it today, Brian. I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> ain't the best color man in the game for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you ain't lying. <laughs> when you were a kid, did you eat those push-up pops? Those, yeah. Uh, th- like, those were hard to work. You know, I, 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 hated getting, <laughs> I hated getting all the stuff on my face, you know. Yeah, I hate uh, those. No, I bet you no. did. <laughs> those weren't push-up pops, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You ever wonder why yeah, some, some, uh, some popped up art. Did, did you ever wonder why every time he had one of those, Benny was there? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously, the BBC And I didn't even know Benny back up. then, you know. I was a ki- you know, I was little. He knew you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were kind of like toilet paper rolls, and uh, they had a stick at the bottom, and you push it And, up. and it was, th- those things were so hard to get open. I don't you know, know man. Uh, uh. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you could see them, uh. <laughs> they were easier to work. I don't know. You're at a disadvantage. Yeah, but but I enjoyed them yeah. nevertheless. Don't like worry, put, in the minimum of hands or something. No. <laughs> uh, so there's these new booze push-ups for adults that contain right. more alcohol than a glass of wine. Mm-hmm. The Las Vegas-based popsicle company has invented boozy push-ups. <laughs> boozy pu- I like the name. Uh, <laughs> but that's would. not the name. They're called Buzz Pops. Buzz Pops. Yeah, he doesn't uh, like that one. Says each treat has uh, has an ABV of fifteen percent. Oh. Damn! Uh, damn. Whoa. Whoa! Wow! That's more than a four loco. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is almost double the alcohol percentage of your average glass of wine. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Brian, how many flavors do you think there are? Probably without man. looking. Don't look. At You're the like in slow I, motion. I, I, oh, today, okay, I, I'm thinking of a number. I'm I, I'm sorry. I, I'm running off. I what? say Brian, and like uh, he's okay. like on a fucking five T- seconds Todd, away. Todd, come on. I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, I, I, I'd say about five. There's eight flavors. Okay, eight. Do you want to know what they are? Yes. What are they? I don't think you do. Yes, I do. Pink paradise. Okay. What? Wh- Blueberry mania, brother. Okay. Mango passion. Mm-hmm. Uh, lemon drop martini okay. and Moscow mule in your ass. Oh. Wow. All the drinks are infused with vodka, rum, tequila, or whiskey. Mm-hmm. An eight, how much do you think it costs? An eight pack. Eight dollars. Um, no, no, probably more than that. You My guess would be between 20, 50, 20, 20 can or bottle. Ninety-nine dollars. Oh, oh, God. For how many? Eight. Yeah, they can <sighs> fuck right off. And where, where would they sell those at? Like beer distributors or? I don't know, Brian. It's, uh, they're coming, I guess they're in Vegas right now. They're coming this way. Well, you know what they a say. Near you. It's going to be in a freezer hey, item. Hey, well, it can't be because not everybody's legal. I mean, it has to be. It would have to be. They'd have to be number one, locked in a secure place where people mm. have to show their Giant, IDs. Giant Eagle sells booze. Yeah, no. Well, they Giant Eagle would have to get a freezer, a special freezer for that they stuff. They do. They have a freezer. Okay. They probably have a. Freezer but I wonder for, if yeah. people in Western PA would shell out ninety nine bucks for that. Hell no. Pro- no. I don't know, man. It what I would, what I what I would do is you I would, only need one. You probably get fucking. What I would do is is is, is, is I w- is I would lower the price or sell them like six packs. I don't know, man. But um, how how many calories? If you're watching your weight, this is great. One pop is only a hundred calories. Mm, wow. So that's not bad. My question is, do you think the bars will sell them and stuff, and you can like eat them yeah, at the bar? I don't and, know, man. Uh, Maybe. Gotcha. Not for ninety nine dollars. But, but hey, Todd, don't forget. Sometimes what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she said. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brian, have you ever been to Vegas? Never. If you went to Vegas, Vegas, and had a sore butthole the next morning, would you tell anybody? No, it stays in Vegas. Uh, it stays in Vegas. All I right, let's go to Vegas. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> but, but Todd, hey, I'm not, I'm not like that. So yes, I'd be looking are. for girls. In Vegas. <laughs> you ever heard? You would of that be term? looking for them. I'd be talking to them. <laughs> I'd right. be seeking them out. Have you yeah. ever heard of that term, gigolo? Have you ever heard of he Of course. <laughs> but I don't want a he she. You just pick either you pick the hole or you use the hole. Uh, have you ever heard of that name, Adabisi? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Taco Bell is considered one of the healthiest food chains around. Oh. Yes. That's love good. Taco Bell. I do, too. That's, you wouldn't think Taco Bell would be considered a, the healthiest. I could down a bunch of those tacos. Yeah, but. I spent um, $15 there last night. 
They Fif- have some in- fifteen dollars a Taco Bell. You get a twelve. I'm pack? I'm a fat man, Brian. Oh. Twelve pack? No, nah, I got like three burritos. Oh, I get the twelve pack supreme. or whatever. You, you, you know what they sell there now? They sell the naked, the naked chicken taco. The yeah, naked? I don't like that. I do actually. I, do. I, I got some coming out. They need to put taco out. meat on yeah. it. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm like. Was that there's not enough on there? There's no taco meat on. It. It's just chicken with the toppings oh. inside. Oh, hey, okay. Brian. What? I'm in negotiations with them for tossed salads. <laughs> oh, huh. I'm not a salad eater, so I wouldn't eat those. <laughs> you, can al- you can always skim off calories from your Taco Bell order, Joe. You probably took in a lot of calories with that $13 order. Um, $15 order, $15, he said. Oh, my bad. Good, I asked you a question. It takes you 10 seconds to answer. Well, I'm, I'm, you correct I was me for saying Todd, that I was how just, much to talk about. Dude, what? I was just you get, didn't even hesitate. Dude, I was just getting into my groove, and now I'm in my groove, and I'm ready to rock. Okay. Todd. <laughs> so you can, you can uh, cut calories on your Taco Bell items by ordering it fresco. Okay. That's like no sauces or cream. And that would be boring. Yeah, it would. But if you're healthy and you still want the Taco Bell, you get the fresco. What healthy person says, you know, I'm going to get a Taco Bell. Right. The power menu is is what these new items are coming out as, and mm-hmm. it's been a while around for a while, and they they have like a, a dietitian that oversees everything. But it's a true story. I don't know. The other true stories, Brian. Okay. Uh, the what's that soccer event that's going on right now? The World the Cup? World Cup. Yes. World Cup. Well, supplies of beer are running low in Moscow for the World Cup. Uh, fans risk drinking uh, parts of Moscow dry. Oh. Wow. Because the demand of beer is so high uh, from the bars and the restaurants that the Russian uh, capital is saying that they are running low and having uh, longer wait times than usual to freshen their supplies. If uh, they knew they were having the World Cup, how the hell could they not right. have enough beer? I wonder, um, I wonder how the ratings are doing Trade on uh, Fox in the U.S., that, you know? Trade I don't know. embargo. I don't even know what the hell you're saying. <laughs> you don't know what the hell it is. A oh, trade embargo. You don't oh. know what a trade embargo is? No. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely your kid. So supplier <laughs> stocks are, are uh, running low, and it's taking up to 24 hours to replenish new products. Uh, beer, beer sales in Russia have fallen around a third over the past decade as duties have risen and rules have been tightened on sales and advertising. Um, brewers did not anticipate a major swing in up. An upswing in sales from the World Cup, which why? Wow. Yeah, why wouldn't yeah. you? That's nothing but a drunken party. It's a party. month and a half <laughs> <laughs> celebration. Dummy. Yeah, you get like double the price, and people would still pay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What are you swiping at, but Tim? There's a gnat or something there's flying a dick around over here. I don't know. Sorry. Let's take a uh, let's take a break. I think I think now's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna when we come back, we're gonna talk about the 105 year old woman who gives uh, a shocking answer to the news on why she lives so long. Uh, the Fat People Resort, Brian. Uh, I don't know. I have uh, some thoughts on the Fat People Resort. Why? Would you go to a fat person resort, Brian? No, I wouldn't. Why? It's not like you can see them. You can I mean, fuck I, I, anything with a hole. I can't it's, see them, it's no. It's all going to be the same. <laughs> I fat, know. skinny. I know. You but would I, I mean? be, would I be allowed to go to the Fat People Resort even though I'm not fat? You uh, pulling like a Ray Charles and feeling her wrists and shit? Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You want, just think, with a, if you get a super fat girl, you won't even need a bed. Oh, exactly. Just like, jump on her like of a trampoline. <laughs> 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 and then we're going to talk about the guy who serves his friends a very special personal meal. Okay. It's the Double D Show. Blind Brian is here. Yes, I am. Benny the Villain is here. In one more show, we got the finale, and we got to deal, do some stuff with Tim. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big Mike's here. My my special boy Joey is here. <laughs> Daddy and uh, <laughs> Tim. Oh, Tim yeah. is here. Oh yeah. Tim, how was your birthday, by the way? That was nice. Yeah, had a nice birthday. That's good. All yeah, right. I mean, I wasn't, Tim, how's the feel? Wasn't not that to be number one anymore? Well, I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's number one? Your son. Oh my. son. My son. Well, it's about time. He wasn't in my life for 20 fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. The Taglia Home Inspections, the only place you need to go for pre-purchase, pre-list, or general home inspections. 
Bataglia Home Inspections is available to discuss how our services can meet your needs. Our impartial and experienced inspectors can help you make an educated real estate investment. Pennsylvania State Certified Real Estate Inspectors. Servicing Beaver County, Butler County, and surrounding areas. For more information, go to BataglioHomeInspections.com or give them a call at 724-987-3770. Does your dog or cat need some much-needed attention and pampering? Money Paws, full grooming salon for dogs and cats. Featuring full-service dog and cat grooming, bath and brush, haircuts, nails, ears, teeth, and rear-end cleanup. All done with extra love and attention. It's Money Paws. Schedule an appointment today at 412-207-8250. You're listening to the Double D Show on Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. The Brookline Teen Outreach, a nonprofit located in the South Hills of Pittsburgh that offers free programming to youth ages 10 to 18. After school and weekend drop in sessions provide tutoring, access to computers, community service opportunities counseling and life skill program the brookline teen outreach is dedicated to making a difference in people's lives by offering success understanding and hope in our community for more information please visit facebook twitter or their website brooklineteenoutreach.org Hey, it's T.O. Double D from the Double D Show and Idiot Radio. I just want to take a few seconds out to tell you about Wildcat Belts. Ever since we've won the uh, best podcast in Pittsburgh in the city paper, we've been walking around with a championship belt, and we got it from Wildcat Belts. These guys actually make the real belts for WWE, Nathan's Hot Dogs, many corporate companies, and pretty much every famous championship belt you see on TV, these guys make. Andrew and his staff hooked us up with that sweet championship belt that you see in our pictures. Uh, You can get one for yourself. All you have to do is go to wildcatbelts.com. It's a great idea for fantasy sports, corporate awards, prizes, and so much more. For more information, go visit wildcatbelts.com and tell them Teal Double D and Idiot Radio sent you. Monday. Sometimes I wish the show behind the show. <laughs> Actually aired. Oh, man, I know. Uh, Sometimes we're funnier off the air. Yeah. <laughs> we got to restrain ourselves. We try our best. Yes. But yeah, the, the 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 show behind the show. Do you agree, Joe? Do you think it's funnier? I think so. I do Sometimes. too. Sometimes I agree. Anybody <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ask for the peanut factory? <laughs> <laughs> A Florida woman named Helen Gra- Grainer Grainier. Grind, grind, sound it out. Grind, sound it granier. Grind. It's granier. I read it wrong. I was just trying to play it off. You guys <laughs> How's it spelled? G R A Y N E R. Oh damn! He done broke G-R-A-N-I-E-R. it down. G R A N I E R. Granier. Thanks. That's right. We'd already could be Grenier. Okay, uh, yeah. but it doesn't matter. I think it's Grenier. Tim's okay. right. You're wrong. Shut up. All right. Florida <laughs> 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 woman Helen Grenier of Pearl Harbor attributes. Her longevity to life of drinking, smoking, and staying out late as she celebrates her 105th birthday last week, Brian. Okay. Uh, She had close friends around her at the uh, Coral Oaks Independent Living Facility where she had uh, lived for nine years. Wow. So, wow, man. She was was on her own for all that time, and now she lives there. Mm -hmm. Uh, Helen spent the day reminiscing about her younger days. Telling stories of laughing about the good times she had. Uh, and she told one news station that I used to drink beer and smoke and everything. I stayed out late, you know, dancing, and then I would uh, go to work. Mm. So that that's the key to uh, living a long life. Brian, right. would you hook up with her? No, I wouldn't. She's way too old for me. There, There's a story I scrapped and maybe we'll touch on in the future. There's a guy. I'm actually trying to find him. He's in his 30s. Okay. Oh, is this he's dating like 90 year old women? Oh, yeah. I, I read he's, about that on he's Facebook from somewhere. Pittsburgh. He's from Pittsburgh. So oh, really? Yeah, why is he know. dating 90 year old woman? What for hey, sugar mama? Why do you put it in my ass? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever you like, man. Uh, and you maybe know? like 90 year old women, man. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Maybe he likes to spit a hawker in the vagina before maybe. he puts his penis in it. <laughs> <laughs> But 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 what I what I would hit 
<laughs> Let me get my train of thought here, guys. What I, what I would hate about that is what if she passes away? In the middle of sex? No. You'd be I, like, I killed that pussy. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, what if she passes away? Now, I was talking about this before we went to the break. The Plus Size Resort. Do you ever hear of this, Brian? I've never heard of it till it's now. It's in the Bahamas. It provides Uh-oh. a real place on an island mm-hmm. in the Bahamas. This owner's name is James King. Okay. He opened a safe haven for fatties named the just it's just called the resort okay about two years ago he opened it um after watching overweight people struggle to enjoy themselves at a resort Mm -hmm. king worked on the idea for about a decade before finding five miles of private beach in the bahamas but like i don't know like i I don't i don't want to see girls that wear the the same size pants as me on the (laughs) beach being a fat man if i'm going to a resort i might not have a chance with the good looking girls but i want to look at them exactly right right so here's my i have a solution to this all right what is i'm gonna open in 2020 okay in the virgin islands all right chubby chasers resort (laughs) (laughs) it's all fat guys and skinny chicks nice there's weight limits for the girls and the guys can be as fat as they want Mm -hmm. I like it. Good idea? Yeah. yeah. I'd go. Sounds like my dream vacation. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and for blind guys, well, I'll, should we do a blind resort? No, we shouldn't. We why, could, why not? You could just tell Are you racist against blind no, people? No, I'm, I'm not racist against <laughs> I'm not racist against the blind. I don't consider myself uh, disabled. Well, I didn't say a disabled I know, resort. I, know, I said I a blind resort. How would you call them disabled, Brian? That's I mean, up. possibly a blind. <laughs> p- possibly we, we could try to open a blind resort, but we we'd have to see the marketing for it. You know? well, we wouldn't have to because it's a blind resort. <laughs> oh, I get, I get it. Huh. It's just a big warehouse. I, I get, with beach noises. Yeah, you, oh. <laughs> you can tell them they're in the Bahamas. Gonna, we'll blow a fan on you. <laughs> they're, in the north, they're in the north side. Have seagull sounds good for the speaker. Er, 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 er. What was that? Uh, that was my impression of a se- seagull. You, you nailed it. Yeah. I thought that was an impression of turtles fucking. <laughs> oh. No, no. <laughs> so this guy, he uh, he decided to serve his friend's uh, special tacos that he made from his uh, his own amputated leg. Oh. Three wow. weeks after his accident uh, that caused the man to lose his legs, he invited ten of his uh, his closest friends and most open-minded friends to this speci- special brunch. Okay. They ate apple strudel, quiche puffs, mm-hmm. fruit tarts. Mm-hmm. And that's your new name, Brian, fruit tart. No. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> chocolate cake. They drank gin, lemonade, punches, and mimosas. And then the main course came out, fajita tacos made from his severed leg. And they knew it was his leg. Did they know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this 38-year-old man was asked why he decided to feed him... Uh, feed himself to his friends. Get it? Wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what he tasted like and how the experience changed him. Originally, he wanted to have it uh, taxidermy and freeze dried, but no taxidermist would do it. So he was trying to, him and his buddies were sitting in a car, throwing it around, trying to figure out what they were going to do with it. Mm-hmm. And then the idea came to uh, cook his leg in the fajitas. Okay. He originally invited 11 people, but only 10 said, yeah, I'm down. And uh, saying how he used to remember how him and his friends used to talk about how, hey, if you could ever have a chance to eat human meat, would you? Who has this conversation? I don't know. They're weird. <laughs> no one I know. Brian, you want to eat my meat? No. No. <laughs> would you do it? No, I wouldn't. I'd would be you? too. Ner- would you I'd, be, you? I'd be too nervous. I, I, I'd freak out. If and- I had my meat. And you wanted to eat it? No, I wouldn't. All right, would you eat human meat? No, I wouldn't. You can put four ninety nine a pound. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I prefer my hamburgers and chicken and turkey and venison. Cheeseburger, cheese. And every once in a while, a piece of junk. No. Well, he said he for all the times that we talked about it, I, I called all my friends out and asked who would who would like to do it, and uh, ten said yes. So a chef friend prepared the tacos for the guests. Okay. You said Tim said yes. No, I said the ten. 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 Oh, okay. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> so I like a lot of food, but I don't know about a leg. I I I I I'd prefer my chicken legs and turkey <laughs> legs. We could put anything in front of you, say it's chicken, and you take a bite. You well, well I, w- I wonder what the human meat tasted like, and I wonder well, if the, pe- the the way they describe it is. I'm glad you said that, Brian. See? Yeah. 
You're not the best color man around here for nothing. <laughs> exactly. The most fla- he said it was the most flavorful meat he ever ate. All right. It was almost like venison. Nice. Wow. Certain parts of his leg were tougher than others, mm-hmm. but the tacos were amazing. But the question is, the chef he hired, did he have to sign like a release form or whatever? Or? Uh, I don't. I don't know, Brian. And you got to wonder. Do you want to call him and ask him? <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't know. You want me to, you want but to I know? wonder if it was legal and, you know, the legalities of if the they gave thing. him his leg back, yeah, it was illegal. Yeah. Oh. Oh. They gave him his leg. Oh, Todd. What? Leave him alone, please. I'm not saying anything. Quit being rude, man. All right, we're going to take another break. We're flying, <laughs> flying through the show. Yes, bro. we are. We're doing it's awesome. because you're like, you're, you're, you're slow motion today. I'm sorry. So we're going to take our last break, Joe. Okay. And when a man finds, uh, we're going to find out when a, when a man finds an unwanted guest. Where this odd place was, he found this uh, unwanted guest. A 21-year-old woman's choice of drink to help treat acne and depression. Okay. And uh, a man does not take no for an answer and gets into big trouble. It's the Double D Show. We are coming to you today from our idiot radio studios inside the Brookline Pub, 734 Brookline Boulevard. Ding! Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to take our last break, and we'll be back after this. Okay. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Vapor Connection in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Premier vaping lounge and proprietor of vaping supplies. We carry everything from mods and accessories to the widest selection of e-liquids in Pittsburgh. Visit our shop in Blonox and sample e-juice from America's best suppliers. Vapor Connection, Pittsburgh's premier vapor and shop lounge. Vape easy at the Vapor Connection. For more information, go to VaporConnectionLLC.com. You're listening to the Double D Show on Idiot Radio. Taking it to the edge and back. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck, and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash spielson.wheels. Bataglia Home Inspections, the only place you need to go for pre-purchase, pre-list, or general home inspections. Bataglia Home Inspections is available to discuss how our services can meet your needs. Our impartial and experienced inspectors can help you make an educated real estate investment. Pennsylvania State Certified Real Estate Inspectors. Servicing Beaver County, Butler County, and surrounding areas. For more information, go to BataglioHomeInspections.com or give them a call at 724-987-3770. Looking for a DJ for your next party, corporate event, wedding, or special occasion? Contact Rich Who Entertainment, the official DJ of Idiot Radio. For free quote and information, give them a call at 412-266-1266. That's 412-266-1266. Rich Who Entertainment, DJs for all occasions. We're back on the Monday edition. One more show. Uh, yes, uh, just a are. little bit. Just a little uh, bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. One more show and the season's over. Bum, 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 Joe, bum. you were here for the whole season. I know. But you said I wasn't here for the whole you season? You were. The I, whole season. I know, man. But you missed that show because everybody's sharp. No, you didn't. No, I was here for that. You were here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah my whole, there. What's I think you missed one show. No, you missed no. the 90s party. That's what it was. Yeah. You missed out. That's the night I was getting sharpied by. Right, exactly. Yeah. 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 Everyone that was, signed my that body. That in Ohio. Oh, Brian was at the night. I was party. there. It was fun. You, what's your uh, What's your access driver's name? Susan. She's hot. You I, 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 I don't see her that often. <laughs> you don't see her at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> she's hot. You should hook up with her. Tell her your buddy Todd said she's hot. Oh. Brian, you remember that night you were trying to get us all into the access van? You asked her that she would drive us around? Todd was the one that asked her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I said, his birthday's coming up. Can we go out for it with his birthday? We're August 12th, access. yeah. August 12th. But they can't take us from bar to bar to bar all night like a party bus. Why not? You know? They, th- that's if not you were making love to Susan, <laughs> well, she would do anything you want. Uh-huh. See? <laughs> yeah. 
Think about it. He doesn't. He doesn't know what to say. I know. <laughs> I know. What if you? What if you were just sitting in the uh, seat? Hey, t- hey, hey, Todd! I can't. There's cameras everywhere. And I can't. Had, he just pulled it out. Hey, I can't do anything like that. And then, There's cameras everywhere on those things. And then you're just sitting there with your dong hanging out and be like, "Hello." I'll show your mic off. See how that works? Todd. <laughs> so you're oh, sitting Todd. there. Oh, Todd. <laughs> Not my mic, Todd. So oh, si- Todd. This is all you do is you sit there <laughs> with your dong out, right? And you say, before you help me out of the van, help me out. You know? <laughs> help me out. You point to your balls. It might work. <laughs> help me out. Wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> no? You don't want to do that? <laughs> no. Just be like, help me out, wink, wink. Before you help me out, help me out. Oh. You, know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say? Where you pull my other leg out, look where you pull my third leg. <laughs> uh, no? Uh, no. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get you laid. I know man. you are, but. You're killing me. I know. I know. <laughs> But that wouldn't be allowed, and I'd be kicked off the service forever. Oh, no. And I don't want to be kicked off the service forever. Well, it depends on how it went. But what if she's game? <laughs> what if she's game? Yeah. Well. Like, before you help me out, help me out. Wink, wink. Hey, I don't know where you that. you got to say wink, wink, I, and point hey, to your dick. Hey, I don't, I, don't, I don't want any lawsuits or anything like uh, that. But if so she's I, with I, it, man. Yeah. Well, I, I, if she's I don't. I don't look, look, look guys. I don't, lost. I don't know her that well. <laughs> I mean, and trust me. She, I only met her once. She has a bumper sticker on the back of the bus that says, "If this bus is rocking, don't come and knock." No. Me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey! No, she doesn't. How do you know? <laughs> I know. You can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've been, worst case scenario, look, look, the, uh, look, guys, I've been a rider on that service for over 20 plus years. Yeah, but you really were, need to be a rider uh, on that service. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be a rider I, 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 I've used that service for 20 plus years, and they would not not allow that. Brian, what? you got a real problem. Just call Cop. How do you know there's it. cameras on that? Thing? I know. But how do you know? All right. I'm I know. I'm done talking I was about told. It. You're killing me. I was told. Me. Don't and, worry and, about and I know that. where they are. Just be like, you help. Don't well, do worry it. about Have it. Have your don't. back to the camera and be like, well, before cam- you help me out. The cameras. Help me out. You know. Don't I, don't, I don't want to get her job in jeopardy. Wink, and I don't, I, I don't want to get in trouble. Don't what worry if, about it, dog. What if she becomes the love of your life? Well, I'd, I, I wouldn't want to make it happen that way. I'd want to get to know her first and talk to her, get her phone number, hang out with her, keep it on the DL. For a little bit, the you know, no, the down no, low. No, no, Just no, be no, like no. wink, wink. No, no, Tom, me you need me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like that. I, I don't, I don't. Are you I, a grower, not a shower? I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't rush into things like that. I All like right. to take my time with All people right. and get to know them. Do you that, a, that's do you, your problem now. You're taking your time. I, 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 I realize that, but I think, years. I think I'm doing it the right way. Get all that stuff built up in you for 36 years. Brian. I think <laughs> I'm doing. You're going to have to call a cleanup service when he finally does get it. It's going to be a mess. I think I'm doing things the right way, guys. You're going to have to wear five condoms because you're going to shoot the condoms out of her. You're going to shoot it so hard the condom's going to come out of her mouth. I think I'm doing things the right way. Okay. I know I am. All right. What? You don't want to show Susan your snake? No. (laughs) Well, that's a segue because um, what would you do if you had to go jump your car because the battery's dead and you found a rattlesnake curled up under the hood? That shit was crazy. I've seen that. I would call animal. I would call nine one one and animal control. And well, you shouldn't be driving, Brian, in the first place. (laughs) (laughs) Unless we're all drunk, and then you got to drive us home. But as the passenger in the car, if I was in a car with a rattlesnake in the hood. I would call nine one one, and I'd um, I, I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't touch the. I, uh, first of all, <laughs> I w- I it'll probably w- touch you because <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> well, 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 what I would do is I'd call. I'd I'd, I'd get rushed to the hospital, get the anti venom shot, right. and be all set. Well, in upstate you get my snake every day. An <laughs> <laughs> upstate New York man trying to jumpstart his car was greeted by an unusual sound coming from the engine, and it was the rattle of a venomous. Timber rattlesnake, and that's surprising to that's see those crazy. things in upstate New York. Um, the man says the snake slithered around his, across his engine block oh. and curled up right on the battery. He's like, "You ain't jumping this car, my, <laughs> my car now, bitch." Huh. <laughs> and uh, I'm he, the captain now. <laughs> as he opened uh, opened the hood, and, and the town that he lives in is about 115 miles northwest of New York City. Mm-hmm. I want to say like close to the PA line, right? Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah. 
of the man reportedly called the Department of Envir- Environmental Conver- Conservation, Brian. Okay. After he uh, realized it was uh, a rattlesnake, and the environmental officer removed the snake and took it to a more natural habitat. That was nice, right? They didn't kill the snake. Right. I wonder how the snake got in there. But in I the bet first Susan place. would kill your snake, man. <laughs> <laughs> on that. Bus. I, I wonder how the rattlesnake got in the hood in the first place. I think it, I think the nickname of her bus is the Bang Bus. <laughs> hey, 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 Todd, don't go there. <laughs> Todd. 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 <laughs> hey, this might be something for you, Brian. Okay. I noticed you've been breaking out a little bit, maybe. Yeah. This might help. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a 21-year-old woman named Lynn okay. posted a video to social media where she drinks her dog's urine yeah. in a horrifying video while claiming that it completely cleared up her acne and helped her depression. <laughs> it's also rumored to help cure cancer. Okay. Drinking dog or human urine is a practice known as urine therapy Okay. and was uh, practiced um, from ancient China. Rome, Greece, and Egypt. But that probably doesn't have scientific background to it. Is that is bullshit. R. Kelly peed on everybody in, in Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> well, that was R. Kelly. Because it's sterile and I like the taste. <laughs> <laughs> pee on you. Well, they say if you get stung by a jellyfish, you pee on, put pee on the spot where you got stung. Okay. So it is healing factors. But I wouldn't drink it. It would be gross. And then um, if you have athlete's foot, they say pee on your feet in the shower. Okay. That'll help. That works. I don't know. You I'd rather use Dr. Scholl's. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, so this this Springfield man threatened to shoot people if he didn't get oral sex. Okay. Police say this 21-year-old man, Christopher Allen, um, would not take no for an answer from this girl that he met on uh, social media. Mm-hmm. He allegedly sent the woman uh, a message asking to hang out. When the woman declined... Uh, court documents say Allen offered to pay fifty dollars for oral sex. Damn. That's illegal. The woman. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck you know? Ask Susan. Know, ask I, Susan, the bus driver. Hey guys, I read a lot of stuff. <laughs> How the fuck you know? The woman again declined. He then uh, he then asked, "How about smoking weed together?" Again, she said, "No." Is that illegal? Yeah. In cer- in certain, <laughs> yeah, it's, Robert it's, Shapiro. It's legal in certain states. It depends where you are. After the woman declined, I know all it's legal in Massachusetts. Excuse me. Excuse okay. me. After the woman declined all of Alan's advances, his tone changed, and uh, Alan told the woman if she did not have a conversation with him, he would buy something that may hurt a few good people. Uh. He allegedly went on to say, "Don't cry when you see the news, and a couple people are shot." Damn. That's crazy, huh? I would have had him arrested. Well. <laughs> Man, he'd have shot you first. Yeah. <laughs> Alan said, I'm buying a gun tonight, and if you don't talk to me, the woman uh, then reached out to police. Hell yeah. And after Good receiving shit. those messages, Alan told police his intention was to scare the woman into giving him oral sex, oh. and he did not actually buy a gun. Guy seemed more desperate than Brian to get yeah. some <laughs> 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 He's at least trying. I, I, I wouldn't go that far. He's at least trying. Susan on the bang bus would give it to him in a heartbeat. <laughs> right? Todd, I, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? You got your tongue tied? You no. I'm no. not, I'm not going to go there. When we get him good, he goes. Yeah, you know. Todd, leave Brian alone. Hey, Todd. Todd. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, Todd. Go back to my house. bullshit. Leave the man alone. They're thinking he's stealing some power and that, shit. That guy's a good guy, man. Leave him the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Vin. I got your back, bro. Uh, thank yeah. you, Vin. In the back. <laughs> you're, no, <laughs> you're listening to the Double D Show. We're getting it. We're getting it. Uh, you like that? What is that called? What is this called? This is Big Mike. You're listening to the Double D Show. We're getting it. That's a, a promo drop is what that is. It's a promo drop. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. A sweeper. <laughs> uh, class 101. I, know. I learned that in uh, Good job, Brian. radio production. Good radio. job, Brian. That's the funny part is, is he's the most educated person about radio on this program. <laughs> he's on this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he has a, don't you have a degree? Yeah, I have a bachelor's degree? in broadcast journalism from Point Park University. That's right. He'll be, run, he'll be buying idiot radio soon. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. 
<laughs> He'll be our new boss. Uh. Like, You're all fired. Remember? I'm your boss. I would Todd, I'm your boss. <laughs> Todd, boss. Remember those Susan jokes? You're fired. <laughs> 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 well, what season are we in? Seven, eight? I what are you going to do when there's a merger? <laughs> with who? Who else you think? I don't know. We're not merging with anybody. You don't know that. We're, do you have plans that I don't know no, about? <laughs> Should I be looking for a job? Should I get my resume ready? Hey. <laughs> Millville Music Festival. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Enough said. I think this so is, you're this taking the show there? Is that what you're doing? I'm not buying shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, th- I think this is season eight, isn't it? I don't remember. But it's just the end. Of, we're coming up on the Friday show. I know it. And um, so there's something we have to address real quick before we get off the air. Oh, With the BBC? Shit. Um, Tim kind of guaranteed a guest. And we didn't really talk about it because <laughs> I don't like to talk about guests unless we actually have them in hand. Right. But mm-hmm. so, like, he, it, come, come on now. I, it was in the works. <laughs> he guaranteed that we would have this guest. Um, so he has to the end of the Friday show, which is we're broadcasting live right now, and, <laughs> and he doesn't have much time left. So I'm, I'm still with fingers across. So what? I, I don't know what. I mean, we got to. This can't go unpunished, right, Vin? Nope. No, oh, it can't. No. Oh yeah, you got. Oh yeah, you in trouble no, for this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what should we do? I don't know. Mm. Um. I did bring some stuff with me, and we could talk Uh-oh. about that in the next show. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you brought some stuff? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, y'all better stay tuned then, because this, <laughs> this, this season finale might be a great I one. I wonder what guest Tim guaranteed for us. Well, he, he, can pro- we talk about it? Y- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, uh, yeah, you can. I mean, you know. We- he, uh, he guaranteed that he was going to get Rick Seaback to come on the show. Okay. And Rick Seaback boy. did not come on My the boy, show. Blue. Oh. Is there any possibility that he'll be here in the next show? Uh, it's not looking good. <laughs> Boy, you are in trouble. Brian, you think you could get guests to come on the show? Yeah. Who do you think you could get? I'm not sure. Joe DiNardo? Susan? No, <laughs> Joe, 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 Joe Di- <laughs> Too soon, guys? <laughs> Joe DiNardo. Joe DiNardo's wow. passed. Uh, wow. I, I feel bad that he's Too passed. soon. I was too a big soon. fan. You know? I was a big fan. Too. Oh, yeah, I was, too. I, rest in peace, Joe DiNardo. I have yeah. a Joe DiNardo story. You want to hear it? Yeah. I don't care what you want. <laughs> Come on, what, what's your Joe Nardo story? So, like, do you guys remember when Joe was a, um, he would go around to the schools like oh, P. Yeah. Diddy and, the hell, and, and Chopper yeah. 4? Yeah, yeah, right. And he'd go to your school and visit the school, talk to you about weather. a big deal, weather. yeah. Yeah, he was. Well, I was, uh, it was between recess and lunch, and I was walking from the playground to the cafeteria, and I saw Joe walking to Chopper 4 and I ran over with my little notebook and asked for his autograph. That's my Joe DiNardo story. And what did he say? Yeah. Was he like, he gave sure, Todd, here's the autograph. He, he uh, gave great. it to me. We made passionate uh, love in the Chopper 4. <laughs> 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 Overlooking the city. This is Joe DiNardo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, do you have a Joe DiNardo story? Uh, no, um, I used to do impressions of him on the hear. PA system in, in middle school. Hold this on, hold, hold jo- on. Don't start it yet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold okay, on. Okay. Hold on. All right, go ahead. Let me hear it. This is Joe DiNardo, and it's partly cloudy in Allegheny County. And tonight it's going down to 60 degrees with scattered shots. Ladies and gentlemen, Blind Brian has just derailed the show. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to get That was my best yeah, I think Jim Crenna left something about him on, on his yeah, media Yeah, yeah, we page. talked that about was, it on uh, yeah, No Restrictions. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was cool. You can hear the same day, Monday, that this airs. Cool, cool. Um, go to Jim Cren fan page on Facebook to uh, get the latest episodes of the My uh, boy Blue. Jim Cren no, no restrictions. I'm having a ball doing that, by the way. I, just, I know you are. Awesome. It's, it's a, a good, good show, time. man. It, it really gets is. get away uh, from you guys for a while. Uh, I love you guys. <laughs> Got away from me for 20 years, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> studio, studio don't How smell like Jim? Vinny's farts. <laughs> yeah. are, you, are you trying to incriminate me? <laughs> <laughs> That's why that shit's going away today. <laughs> Friday. I think, Vin, I think Vinny's selling the company. Are you trying to sell the company from, out from under me? No, brother. All right. He said brother. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? I'm black? What are you, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what kind of brother you are, but you're a yeah. brother. What you just said is one of the uh, most insanely please. idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point. In your rambling, incoherent response, were you even close to anything 
that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. It's the Donald D Show.